I thought you said you killed him. It was a very brief reprieve. We raided the agency a few days ago. You got him at his office? No. But the office has been closed and will not open again. You got the Ortmeier files. They're still in circulation. But we learned that the files are almost entirely useless without a fresh bone marrow sample from 47. So even dead, he's a threat. Only until he's cremated. About 20 minutes from now. How'd you finally get him? He got overconfident and greedy. He took on the most difficult, most highly paid assassination attempt in history. The presidential attack? The very one you asked about at the start of our conversation. Ready to hear how it really went down? We're all quite pleased to have you on this assignment, Mr. 47. The nation's gratitude... Skip the patriotism, Smith. Of course. <laughs> have you read the briefing? Not yet. Give me the big picture. The Vice President of the United States is plotting with Mark Parchezzi. I assume you're familiar with him? I know his work. Good. They're planning to assassinate the President as soon as he gets back from Los Angeles. Another drink, sir? Please. There's more detailed info on both men in the briefing. Can I do anything else for you? I'm looking forward to finally working with you. I'll contact you if I need more information. Beyond that, never contact me in person again. Sorry, gentlemen. My niece's birthday. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Did you get your present? It's everything I've ever wished for. My own access card to the White House. Is the roof alarm taken care of? Yes, Pumpkin. Everything is just fine. I'm afraid Uncle has to go now. I'll call you back later and we can talk all about your party. <laughs> you know how little girls are. Listen up, 47. The President of the United States is about to be assassinated. You'd expect the CIA, FBI, or Secret Service to prevent the assassination, but we can't rely on them. We can't rely on them because the man behind this assassination is the acting Vice President. The same shadowy group that got him appointed to the Vice Presidency wants to put him into the Oval Office. They've got pull. Belongings on the conveyor and move along.
So, you're the famous Mark Parchesi III. You don't want to kill me, 47. I'm just like you. Our similarities are irrelevant. We're practically brothers. You can't shoot me. I can do whatever I'm paid to. on the conveyor. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's me, 47, Diana. What are you doing here? Easy. I had to sneak in. The place is surrounded by hundreds of SWAT members right now. They're getting ready to move in. I had to warn you, there's still time for you to escape. I've got a plan. I don't buy it. You've got nothing to gain here. The smart play would have been getting out of the country. Out of the country? We're dealing with a franchise here, 47. Borders don't stop them. You're my last chance. You know my terms. Cash on the nail. Don't you get it? You have to fight them. But if you try to do it alone, you're a dead man. Death is always a risk. Read carefully, 47. It's a bold plan. Where is this wheelchair guy right now? <laughs> ah! Bitch! Ah! Sorry, but this is the only way. You would have caught them whatever I said, and you would have lost. You're buying me one more night. Wheelchair guy. Wheelchair. We've got four minutes before he's cold, people. Let's move. I've never actually killed a man before. It was surprisingly pleasant. Very nicely done, Diana. You've earned my trust. Welcome to the franchise. I'm sure we'll find an appropriate role for you in the organization. A woman like yourself is entitled to a very special role, indeed. assassination attempt was the most reported story since 9-11. How can you expect me to believe that- I don't expect you to believe anything but your eyes. This videotape confirms his presence in the White House moments before the assassination. I'll be damned. If cloning is an outlaw, we'll all be damned. Who actually killed him? That's the most delicious irony of all. He stumbled coming over the compound wall, severed his spinal cord on the rocks. The world's most nefarious assassin died of clumsiness. How'd you confirm his identity? His DNA includes signature sequences from the five men of the Ortmeier project. It's biologically impossible for anyone but the Ortmeier clone to have that DNA. You're giving me all this as an exclusive. Why me? We admire your objectivity, Rick. Thank you. Don't mention it. We need to get to the chaplain. 47's ashes are going to take pride of place on my mantle. Chaplain! Chaplain! 